You know, it's very hard though, Mika. You've got to cut him some slack here. It's very hard to stay focused when you know uh, the crime rate. And Willie and I talk about this all the time. I know, that's true, because the, the president crime, told us. The crime rate is the worst that it's been, yep. Willie, I think since 1783. That's right. Most people are being murdered. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah, Chicago in America. alone, if you're president yeah. of the United States and 80% of people in Chicago are being murdered, yeah. I mean, how can you focus on so, that? Okay. I, I and think there's also the, 1.5 million people that are going to show up in Melbourne. Florida. Yeah. Florida I will Florida. tell you, th these yeah. attacks on yeah. fake news, and I, I while delivering didn't fake news. want, it, while delivering this information and lies, what, what wonderfully this presidency ironic. doesn't feel real. This doesn't feel... Are you saying, Mika, this feels like a fake presidency? It's a presidency? fake presidency. I'm, I'm at know. that point. I don't know exactly what that No, means. no. Someone tell me what's going on here. We have a president who goes out in front of America for an hour and 10 minutes riffing and just making up stuff well, well, and throwing out lies right and left. Our president, this is our president. That's what we saw during the campaign. I mean, it's the same. He is literally the same exact person that we saw during the campaign. Nothing changed. Anyone who said he's going to become more presidential, if you believed him when he said that, you're wrong. That This is who he is. He won off this. He's going to continue to, to uh, act the way that he does. It fundamentally is who he is. He took. He did that press conference so yesterday what is that? because he was itching. To, to spar, to get out there, to talk, to, to defend himself. This is a man who spent uh, the entire campaign going on television and holding a rally every single day. He was on national television saying whatever he wanted to say every single day. And this is what he cared about. And he's actually, These are the things that, he, that cared he cared with about. With everything that's going on in our world and in our country and all the different jobs that have yet to be filled and other countries are looking at our country going, what is going on there? This nation seems to be right. destabilizing he cares about what but he's he's giving off the appearance that he is doing something by signing the executive orders and by holding these round tables and having the uh, the photo ops with the business leaders and talking about rolling back regulation promising Obamacare he's so giving off presidency he's giving the off the, at least for now he's giving off the appearance that things are getting done and that is what's resonating with it's, the people it feels that like another it's way a bit of, of it's a bit of a Potemkin presidency See, they, they're, they're setting these things up. They're not actually getting out and doing anything real. It's all about press. But, you know, and Mark, one of the things that we've noticed, certainly since he's become elected president, you know, when you're campaigning, you campaign seven days a week and you have an excuse to go to rallies every single day. Some of his worst tweets have come on Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. He is so addicted to headlines that he needs on Saturday morning he starts panicking because the swirl of activity and the controversy is gone. And Action if you want junkie. to dig into his brain, that's what you do. When things get quiet on Saturday morning, he starts freaking out and he starts sending out nasty tweets about John Lewis or you, you pick the worst subjects so for him judges. to send out so-called judges. He will do that on Saturday morning so the swirl continues. For the president, winning a war against CNN's 10 o'clock show or the latest New York Times story is the way he judges whether he's a success or failure. Yeah, but but, does, but he, does he know he's only helping CNN? Well, does he know he's only helping the New York I don't Times? Think he does, but, but, he, but he is. His, his 2017 will be judged by does he pass either tax reform? or repeal and replace Not for him, care. though. Well, but I'm saying that's what history will judge. That's what congressional Republicans will judge. The biggest thing about yesterday was his chances of passing tax reform or health care were set back substantially by what happened yesterday. Because people on Capitol Hill in both parties view what happened no longer are the tweets and the attacks and the pettiness and the lies a sideshow. He made them the main event. Mm. Yeah. Willie has some uh, news. Yeah.